Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week one of season two, 2021 in the Simlab Production Car Challenge with me driving the Volkswagen Jetta TDI. This week's circuit is the legacy version of Charlotte Motor Speedway, the road course, and the date is set to the 1st of April 2021 at 20 to 9 in the evening to match the official race time sent out on the season two PDF. All circuit guides are run with baseline car setups, but since you can use setups in the Simlab Challenge, the laps you see may be low fuel quality runs. Same format as before, a breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we go then coming down the main straight now you want to drift over to the left and then back over to the right hand side wall for the left hander of turn one. The braking zone just past the coca-cola on the right hand side just as that first cone touches the pillar of your windscreen on the left. Hard on the brakes from sixth down to fifth gear. Try not to go in fourth and just carry the speed through. Brake, don't cut the grass here on the inside but carry as much speed through as you can getting on that throttle just before the apex. Hug this left hand side wall now keeping it in fifth you're not going to reach sixth. The next braking zone is that little path on the left hand side. Dab the brakes here, keep it in fifth gear, and then we're going to do this section in slow motion. As we turn in, we're going to aim for the white line, keep two wheels on the track. You can cut the white line with two right-hand side wheels. Get back on the power, out to the left-hand side, and just as the grass gets back, dab the brakes again, and down into fourth gear. Cut the white line again with two wheels on the right, two wheels on the left. Be careful of that exit, though, because you need to get on the power early, but you don't need to touch that grass because that'll send you to the wall on the outside. A quick lift for this right-hander, no brakes needed here. This braking zone's a tricky one about a car length before that gray gravel up ahead from fifth down into fourth gear once again for this tight right hand a hard on the brakes for this one get that speed off again in slow motion down into fourth get it chucked in try not to hit the curb on the apex but look how much you're back on that power straight away keeping it full lock right get to the about the middle of the track before you lift off and then feather the throttle all the way through here hugging that grass on the left hand side we're going to come right out to the right now with full throttle all the way around this corner so it's important that you get the angle right full throttle get to the wall don't cut that grass on the left there because you'll get a 1x and there we go that is now pretty much it for this lap as we speed up the rest of the lap round charlotte because it's flat out all the way around here you don't have to hug the white line on this section but remember it's going to be a right slipstream fest so you need to defend what you can holding that inside line or of course be making moves just like our fast lineup of jetta drivers will be at the volkswagen jetta cup here on the racing line live monday night at half eight in the evening make sure you're there to get some tips for the upcoming sim lab season anyway full speed uninterrupted here we go over to the right hand side look for the coca-cola sign just past that hard on the brakes down to fifth gear get it chucked in don't cut the grass but get early on that power and watch the wall of death on the outside you now want to hug the left hand side wall in fifth gear all the way round don't go up to sixth dab the brakes when you see the path on the left cut the white line a little bit back on the throttle dab the brakes again down to fourth cut the white line a little bit be careful not to get a slowdown if you cross that line slightly too much you will get a 1.2 second slowdown and that will ruin your run all the way through here quick lift through this right hander back on the power straight away just before the gray gravel on the left hard on the brakes down to fourth keep that lock right out to the middle of the track lift off get it chucked in and now hug the grass on this first apex back on that power nice and early keep a consistent line careful of that grass on the exit that fence also claimed a few people in testing but now it's a flat out run all the way to the line now trust me when I say this Volkswagen Jetta Cup is going to be something that you do not want to miss. We've got some really big names actually from Simlab last year, but also some new guys that are going to be looking to make a name for themselves. So make sure you tune in on this channel Monday nights at half eight for the next 12 weeks so that you can see what the Simlab is going to provide for the next week after that race. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Ignore the dashboard in the bottom right-hand side. It's a little bit slow. As you see, we go around turn one. It changes to fifth just a little bit after I do. So don't focus on that too much, but it does show you what gears I use. Anyway, don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and let me know how your races have been going. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.